These thin, super crunchy cookies are filled with a delicious marshmallow cream buttercream. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo Max 12. Hello, everyone. Starting off with a large bowl and three quarters of a cup of packed brown sugar. Add to that two thirds of a cup of butter that's been melted, salted or unsalted. Once that's smooth, add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one large egg, quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And if you use unsalted butter, add a quarter teaspoon of salt at this point, then a quarter cup of all purpose flour, and then two cups of quick cooking oats, also called five minute oats. Then once that's done, add in one half cup of finely chopped dry roasted peanuts. I use the unsalted kind. Once that's thoroughly combined, that is your cookie dough. Take a cookie sheet that's been lined with a silicone mat, parchment paper, or greased, and you're gonna drop the batter by tablespoonfuls, and then you're gonna spread it out thinly so that you get a three inch in diameter sized cookie. Now I use the back of a spoon for this, but quickly realize that if you just lightly dampen your fingers with a little bit of water, you can do it with your fingers and it goes a lot faster. So spread them out. Once they're spread out, when they bake, they won't spread out much more. So leave about an inch in between. They are baked at 350 degrees for about eight to 10 minutes until the edges are golden brown and the bottom also will be brown. Let them cool on the cookie sheet for a, about five minutes and then transfer them to a wire rack to cool completely. Now for the filling, that is two cups of confectioner sugar, also called icing sugar or powdered sugar, half a cup of butter that's at room temperature and a seven ounce jar of a marshmallow cream or marshmallow fluff, that's a whole container, one tablespoon of milk, and two teaspoons of a vanilla extract. And you're gonna blend this together with an electric mixer until it is light and fluffy and creamy. I put mine in a piping bag, and then you're just gonna take one cookie, turn it over, put a little bit of the filling on the bottom of it, add your second cookie, and give it a little squish just to flatten it out a bit. And then you're done. The filling will set a little bit. It'll dry a little like buttercream does, so it's not so sticky to the touch. Now, what did I think of them? The actual cookie by itself is awesome. It is crunchy and crispy and like with the oatmeal and the peanut together, it's they're really, really good on their own. And I love these cookies just plain without filling. Now the filling itself is pretty much buttercream. You don't taste the marshmallow almost at all. Uh, super sweet. I found the amount I put in these cookies for filling as I show in the video was way too much. Um, they just, I just found them too sweet. So I would make these again for sure, but I would probably put half of the amount of filling or maybe no filling at all. I looked through my channel for a related cookie and I found these oatmeal butter crunch cookies. I had completely forgotten that I'd made these and I can't really even remember I made these. I must have because it's me in the video, but uh, these uh, look great. And uh, they're very similar. So if you enjoy a thin, crisp cookie, you're going to love these too. If you want to see this, click on your screen.